Hello, and welcome to the April edition of In Touch, In Tune. Spring is beginning to emerge from the cold and windy days of our high desert winter. Students and faculty are making plans for that needed break from the classroom. Yes, it's spring break time. I hope students will take some time to relax and have some fun during their break. But please be safe and come back refreshed and energized. I attended the March meeting of the California Community College Board of Governors in Sacramento. During the meeting, I presented our college's redistricting plan. After answering a few questions, the Board of Governors gave their final approval for the plan. So, beginning with this coming election in November, our local Board of Trustees will move from an at-large district to having five trustee areas. Trustees will run in one of the areas based on where they live and where the boundary lines are drawn. The five areas approximate the boundaries of the public school districts in our area. Also in March, Dr. Marianne Tortorici, President of the Board of Trustees, and I met with area educators, business and industry leaders, and representatives from local and regional government. The group was called together for what is going to be called the Mountain Desert Economic Partnership. The goal of the partnership is to establish a formal structure to work with various groups to identify plans and programs that support the employment needs of our area employers. It will also become a unified resource for economic development endeavors in the high desert. Subcommittees have already formed and most have already set, established some dates to develop basic goals and future meetings. Well, on the topic of business and industry, I want to announce a significant change that has just taken place. For the past several years, the Victor Valley College Foundation has, as part of an MOU, provided contract and community education services on behalf of the college. Beginning in mid-March, these programs were transitioned back to the college. I want to thank the Foundation for their role in growing these programs and for the quality services they have provided our business and industry in our area. We appreciate the important role that the Foundation has played and will continue to play in supporting the college. This and other developments related to business and industry are making for a very exciting time and emerging new role for the college. In the past month, we have met with some of the area's largest employers who have identified what skill sets are needed to meet their challenges of hiring qualified employees from the high desert. A real opportunity is being created for the development of guided pathways that will begin in the public schools and make a seamless transition to Victor Valley College and then on to local employers. March 14th was a special day at Victor Valley College, at least for the math department, who celebrated Pi Day. Get it? The third month of the year, three, and the 14th day of the month, 14, put together 314, or 3.14, which is Pi in the math world. The celebration not only included pie, but the kind you eat, but pizza for everyone. The event was held in the Student Activity Center and everyone who attended was treated to free pizza and a slice of Marie Callender's pie. Now I have more good news to report. One lucky Victor Valley College student was named the winner of a brand new Fiat 500 car. Rashad Johnson's name was pulled from hundreds of names in the bucket to win the car. Rashad proclaimed that his prayers had been answered when he learned he had won. The Fiat 500 and the Fuel the Future program is the work of the fine folks at Victor Valley Motors. It's through their generosity that Rashad even had the opportunity to enter the drawing. Victor Valley Motors is known around the region, region for supporting education programs across the valley. Thank you, Victor Valley Motors. You truly are a champion of education. Well, that about wraps it up for now. I wish you all the very best for a safe and productive spring semester. Goodbye.